Hello everyone, welcome back to my <laughs> welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Janet and I film videos on fashion, decor, parties, everything. Pretty much lifestyle. If you're returning, thanks for coming back. Today's video is a lar I think it's a large haul. Mostly because I'm going on a trip soon and I want new clothes for that and it's springtime so I wanted a couple of things for that. So I feel like the video might get really long so let's go ahead and jump in. I am going to start with, I guess, accessories. And the first thing is this hat. I love it so much. It's from Anthropology, and I think it's a little bit large, but I have, feel like I have a big head and need a big hat, so I really love it. If I can find stuff, I'll link it below for you, but yeah, this is, um, I don't know what it's called. I still have the, ta I still have the tag on it. Um, it was, $48, okay, let me put my glasses on, I can't see. You guys, I really need to get my eyes fixed. Oh no, it was $68. Okay, it was $68, but I'm sure I waited for like a 20% coupon. So that is the first thing I'm sharing. Um, I'm gonna go in order of like accessories. So the next one is this beret, and it was on sale. I got this one at Macy's, and it was on sale. Um, so the trip that I'm going on, I am going to Amsterdam, and then I'm going to London, and then I'm going to Paris, and I leave in exactly two weeks um, from tomorrow, which I don't, by the time I edit this, this video, it'll probably be a week from when you see this video. Um, so just for time perspective, because I know it's gonna take me like a week to edit this video. Um, but anyway, this is a beret, so I was thinking, I don't know if I'm a beret kind of, I don't know if I'm like a beret kind of girl, but I thought maybe, I'm sure they sell a bunch of them there. So let's see, I don't know. Uh, no, I think not, I don't know. You guys tell me yes or no on the beret. I'm probably wearing it wrong. I don't know how to wear it. I have to like research this, but I'm looking at the viewfinder. Oh, I'm not sure, let me see. I mean, that's okay, right? <laughs> I don't know. It's a maybe for sure, but oh, I got this one at Macy's. It was on sale for like 15 bucks and I'm not sure about it to be honest. I'll let you guys, oh, by the time I edit this video though, I'll have like started packing, so. I'll let you know, I am planning on filming like a pack with me video. I have like in my head that I wanna make 10 beautiful outfits. Um, so stay tuned for that. Another hat, I got this one at Target and it's by Universal Thread. I, I don't, let me see. Are these still in style? I don't know. I just thought it was kind of cute. I don't like washing my hair all the time and then like by the third or fourth day, I'm like, I definitely need a hat. So I thought this one was pretty cute and it fit me okay. I don't know, but it's getting into the spring, so I probably wouldn't wear it, but maybe next year, I don't know. I still like it. Okay, I ran into Forever 21 just for accessories, because I feel like I have, I don't know, sometimes their clothes doesn't fit me good. Sometimes it does, but I didn't find any clothes there. And most of the stuff I bought, honestly, was online, just because I did go look in stores, and I feel like the stores don't have anything, so, I'm gonna put my glasses on so I can see like how much everything was, but I did buy this bow. It's just a like, little red bow, and I don't know, sometimes I think I'm too old to wear bows. It was only $4, but then I think of like Sex in the City, and um, I don't know if you remember Bunny. She was like Charlotte's mother-in-law in the show. She always wore these like little bows at the bottom of her hair, and I think I don't know, that it might be cute. So I got a bow and I'm probably gonna wear it, maybe. Yes, I mean eventually, yes. Okay, I'm struggling because I bought so much stuff that I don't like to buy stuff that I'm not gonna keep or wear. So then like I'll end up, I'll have to take it back. If not, well I can't take that back, but I'm just saying 
I, I'm kind of overwhelmed by this trip to be honest just because I want to have like beautiful pictures and um, I definitely want to change kind of like my style a little bit. I want to wear more dresses. Um, I want to get away from like car. I don't like cardigans anymore. I'm like totally over them and stuff like that. So that's why you're going to see like hopefully a totally different style. Um, next is this really cute necklace from Forever 21. I thought it was adorable. It's my letter, the name of my letter, J, and it's just, I don't know if the camera's picking it up right there. It's like kind of like pearls and I do wear pearl earrings a lot, so I thought it was really adorable. I don't wear a lot of necklaces, um, but it was only $4.99. And then I bought these rings right here. A little set of rings, I thought they were cute. These were $5.99 and I would just stack them like on my right, my, my right hand, yeah, my right hand or my left hand, wherever they fit. I just thought they were cute. I go through phases where I'll buy rings and then like, I always buy these little inexpensive ones and then when I lose them or don't like them anymore, I don't feel guilty. And that is it for accessories. Let's get into shoes. I did buy a lot of shoes too. Ugh, I, you guys don't judge me. I bought a lot of shit, okay. The first pair of shoes actually my husband bought for me. Should I put the hat back on? I feel like my hair is dirty today. The hat with the glasses is not good. I don't know, okay, back with the hat. Um, the first pair of boots are from Dolce Vita and my husband bought the bought these for me. They were on sale and they look like this and I think they're really cute. I have a really big foot though. I wear size nine and a half or 10. I think these, um, yeah, are, are nine and a half and they were 87, no, sorry, 85, 17. Um, but I feel like the heel length would be good for traveling. Um, if I don't want to wear sneakers all the time, but I probably will to be honest most of the time. So I think they're a good spring neutral booty and I really like them. Ow. Okay. The hat's kind of big, huh? Just hit myself. Okay. So moving on. Our, okay. The next shoe. I'm slightly obsessed with, and I don't know if I have anything to wear with it, but I'm gonna find stuff because I love it so much. It is this gorgeous white, yes, white, little kind of like Western booty. And to be honest, I follow this one girl on Instagram. I don't remember her name, Rachel, I think it's her name. I don't remember her name right now, but she wears these boots with so many outfits and I think it looks so adorable. And I wanna wear these boots with so many outfits. So. I did try them on with like a little spring dress that I had in my closet from years ago from Zara and I thought they were just adorable. I'll try to insert a picture of them on my feed or me trying them on for you so you can kind of get what they look like. I got them, did I tell you they were Sam Edelman? Um, I got them from I think Nordstrom or Macy's, but I just love them. Okay, I, and let me just tell you that my husband hates them, but I don't care, they're so cute. All right. The next pair of shoes, <sighs> okay, the sigh is because I would really love this Gucci pair of shoes and I'll insert the Gucci shoe in here. It's just like, ah, so beautiful, but I think they're like $700 or something and right now I don't wanna pay $700 for shoes, so I found these for $40, you guys, at Zara. Something just flew by, oh my God, ugh. Okay, for $40 at Zara yesterday, and I love them. I will say I hate when they don't give you a box for shoes. I just keep all my shoes in their boxes in my closet, and Zara never has shoe boxes. There's like a little, there's like a little gnat in here, and it's just like annoying me. Ugh, it's terrible. Okay. So these are the shoes. Oh my God. What do you guys think? Do they look like the picture that I inserted? I think they're the perfect heel length too. I don't like anything too high now that I'm getting like older. I don't wanna 
Now that I'm getting older, I don't want like five inch heels anymore. I'm just, I can't, my back starts to hurt. Um, I did buy size 41, which I tried on size 42, which is the equivalent, equivalent of a nine and they looked okay. But then I saw the 41, which is a 10. They're like just a hair big because they really wear nine and a half, but I love them. I think they're gonna go with so many things. I will say that they're not super comfortable. Uh, I walked around the store with them. I mean, they're still tied together, but I felt like if I broke them in, they might be comfortable, hoping. Um, yeah, they might be sitting shoes out, but super cute, Zara. Right, the next pair of shoes really isn't for my trip, but I'm sharing all the new stuff in my closet right now. And it's mostly for spring. I feel like they're a little wide. I'm looking at that net. I'm gonna have to kill it soon. Um, they're for this white dress that I'm gonna show you from Target. These are from Target. I think they kind of look like the Steve Madden shoes, which I like. Um, I did get nine and a half. They're by Universal Threads and I ordered them online. And like when I was checking out, they're like, oh, do you wanna save a dollar to like consolidate boxes or something? And I was like, yeah, of course. And then I didn't get a shoe box, so. <sighs> I don't know. I'm like, why didn't I get a shoe box? But I guess I think that's probably why I didn't get one. But yeah, these are it. I'll insert, try to insert me, tr um, my foot in them for you. I need a pedicure, by the way, just in case I do insert it. But these are at Target. And I think they were like 30, $34.99. Okay, the next thing are polishes because I like to do my own nails and I wanna do this one manicure and I feel like I could totally do it myself. Like I don't need to go to the salon to do it. All it is is like a different nail polish man manicure. I'll insert like my inspo of what I want my nails to look like and then I'm gonna show you all the polishes that I bought. And I didn't buy expensive ones. I didn't buy like the $7 ones. I bought like the $2 ones. So way less expensive. Okay, I did buy one $7 one. I just saw it. Um, but I'll show you the less expensive ones first. Ugh, I don't want to drop this. Okay, so this brand called Sinful Colors, I think that was called, uh, are all the colors that I got. I got yellow, pink, orange, blue, and purple. So I thought they were pretty cute and I feel like I will probably get my nails done for my trip just because I don't wanna like have to worry about my nails on the trip and I, I might just do like a pink probably, but like in a couple couple of weeks after the trip or maybe even before, I'll try this like um, manicure that I wanna do with all the different colored nails and I thought it would be cute. It's not like there's any nail art or anything. I mean, I can paint my own nails, obviously. Not the best, but you know, from far away it looks good. And then I did buy this one. This is one of my favorite colors. I think it's called Mint Apple. It's it's by Essie and it's just one of those like that you have to have in your collection. This one is a little more pricey for a nail polish, but I really like it. Okay, we're all done. Oh my God, I'm at 14 minutes. You guys are gonna, this little video is gonna be so long. Ah, you guys said, most of you, thank you for replying that you like long videos. So let me get into the clothes. Oh my God, I should probably have done two videos. Okay. Okay, the clothes, I'm looking at it up here. It's in a big pile. We're starting with Nordstrom. I did order two dresses online. I started online because the Nordstrom where I live, I feel like doesn't have anything, but it actually did and I'll tell you why. So this is the first dress. It is by Speechless. I'll link it below because I bought it online and I can like just copy the link. Um, it's white kind of like eyelet and has this little middle. I thought it would be cute with like a pink coat. I have a pink spring coat. I'll insert like me trying it on for you, but I'm not sure if I'm keeping it. Honestly, I don't know if it's exactly what I'm looking for. So this one might go back. I just wanted to show you guys if you guys might be in the market for like a white dress. And then the next dress that I got online, I mean, it's so small, like I, it didn't even fit me at all, but I'm still gonna share it. Here it is, it's red. It's also by the same brand, Speechless. So these dresses run about $59, which my budget for dresses was about $59, $60. Um, when I was looking online, I didn't wanna spend too much money, um, but this one is so small. Like 
I swear it has to be sized wrong. I hope so because I ordered medium and it looks like my daughter Callie who is a size zero would fit in it and like I didn't even bother to try it on. I'll insert like the model picture of it because it was just like way too tight. Um, so these two are going back probably, but just showing you everything that I got. Also what it didn't work, so that's, those are no's. All right, so then my husband has been watching me struggle because you're gonna see other dresses from like other stores in a second in the process of looking for dresses. He knows my vision of like what I'm looking for. And Friday night we went to pick up a jacket for him at Nordstrom and then he was like, let's just try on some dresses. And his budget for dresses and shopping is way higher than mine. This is the thing, the difference between us. Like I will buy a lot of stuff usually. I mean, I will buy quality stuff, but I feel like fashion changes so quickly that I don't like to spend so much money on like certain items but he's more like the quality and the like cut and the fit, he totally gets it. So he bought me these three dresses for my trip and I'm keeping these, they're so beautiful. Okay, so the first one, and he picked them all out, is by this brand, Elisa J. This is what it looks like. I'm not even gonna bother to really like, I'm just gonna insert myself trying it on for you, but it's very long, so flowy, and it fits me perfectly. I love like the pink sash on it. It is just like so gorgeous, so flattering on my body. I don't have like, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm between us, I'm like a size eight or 10, mostly 10 lately. Um, so I think this one, is a size eight. This one is a size eight though, and I just love it. Um, I don't know what shoes I'm gonna wear. I have to figure that out. I probably have some in my closet, but I just love this dress so much. It was a little on the pricier side, 158, and I'll try to find it online and link it below if I can, but I love it. It's gonna get really messy in here. Oh my gosh, okay. So the next dress, also love it. Oh, let me tell you why I want these dresses. So I want one dress for each city, one dress for Amsterdam, one dress for London, and one dress for Paris. So um, this dress, I think, I'm think i thinking I'm gonna wear in Amsterdam, and it's by this brand called Bardot. This one was only, well not only, but it was $119. And I just love the like florals of it. Like in Amsterdam, there's gonna be hopefully a lot of like tulips and flowers. And I just think I could even wear this with sneakers maybe. I don't know, I might not be able to, but I just thought it was really cute. And again, the most important thing is like it fit my body perfectly. So every dress I was buying from like, like cheaper stores, um, just didn't fit me good, unfortunately. I guess when you're like carrying a little extra weight, you have to like spend more money, unfortunately. I mean, not everybody, but I do. All right, the next dress, I die. I don't know, like I'm on the fence. Does it look like a curtain or not? But my husband loved it and I just love the way that it looks on me. He loved the fit and maybe make my boobs look good. So this is it. It is by the brand, oh, Eliza J again. This one was the most expensive one. I think it was like 258. I don't know. Let, let me put my glasses on. Oh no, only 228, not too bad, but still a lot for a dress. Um, and I'm gonna insert me trying it on here, but it's got like this silver little detailing like on the material and a blush pink and the cut of it is so beautiful. I am planning on wearing this. We're gonna go to London. I'm gonna wear this dress in London and we're gonna have tea, like an official tea. I asked Sean if he could like get me tea with the queen. I think he's working on it. I don't know, I'm just kidding. But um, we're gonna have like tea and I just think I'm gonna just look so cute in it. I have no idea about shoes. I have these pink shoes I'm thinking of wearing with it, but tell me what dress of these three is your favorite because I do wanna take um, some like under the Eiffel Tower with a picnic. So I'm probably thinking of the blue one, the first one I showed you. Okay, moving on.
Moving on to Target, I saw this dress like on maybe Target Instagram. I don't even remember. Like I follow Instagram Target account and I thought it was really cute and the price was really good. Like my price price, it was $36.99 and it's just this like white, the lighting's going in and out, sorry. The white, very thick, almost like a, feels like a denim dress sort of. I don't know what the material is, but I'll insert me trying it on. It's by Who What Wear. And I think this dress is perfect for work. I'm not sure if it's a little too short, but I feel like it also would go with the um, shoes that I bought from Target. Okay, here we are. I feel like it would go with these shoes really cute. And yeah, I just wear this. This would just be <clears throat> more, oh, I don't know, maybe I could wear it on my trip with sneakers. I don't know, I'm just thinking, um, I don't really wanna pack an iron. I don't know how like, I don't know if a steamer would work on this, but anyway, super cute spring, very easy work dress or, you know, just bopping around dress. All right, the next store is ASOS and they have so much good stuff. I actually, placed another order on ASOS. So there might be a part two haul coming depending on time, just because it's getting very close to my trip. But um, I did buy this really cute dress. It's by the, br the brand is like Wednesday, Wednesday girl. It was only $35 and I signed up like for their like emails and I got like 15 or 20% off my order. And I love this dress so much. It doesn't fit me. Unfortunately, when I did the sizing, it says that I was a size medium and I'll insert me trying it on. I mean, it does fit me. It's just like too small, like, cause it's a wrap dress and I feel like maybe I could get away with it, but I'm probably gonna have to send it back and they don't have a bigger size, unfortunately. They like sold out of it. Um, but I just think this is like such a beautiful dress. Like I could wear my beret with this. What do you guys think? I mean, are you visioning it? This is so cute, okay. But sadly, this one probably, unless like I just kept it and wait till I lost a bunch of weight. Haha. -ha. I used to do that and I don't do it anymore because I never will lose weight. Okay. This dress is also from ASOS and it's just like so wrinkly. And I'm not gonna steam it because one, it's going back, and two, I do like it, I think. I don't know if it's going back. You guys tell me, vote below. Should I keep this dress? So when I ordered it online, I thought it was red. Like literally thought it was the color of this like little pattern in here, these red little hearts. It looked red to me, but then I see it in person and it's like orange and I don't think I, I don't know, am I an orange person? Um, I think it would be a good spring dress. I wanted wrap dresses because right now, like I said, I'm carrying some extra weight and I feel like wrap dresses are more flattering. Um, but you guys tell me, I'm gonna show the try on and let me know yes or no below. Um, obviously I'm gonna pack it and then have to steam it if I do take it with me. But I think this would be, it's pretty casual and would go with sneakers. I do want some dresses to wear with my like golden goose sneakers are my Gucci sneakers. Okay, next, where are we at on time? Oh my God, this video is gonna be 30 minutes long. Those of you that like videos, long videos, are gonna be happy, happy. I wanna make you happy. Okay, this dress, I got it on super clearance at Macy's and I need to hurry up and wear, I don't know if snake's for, snake is out yet, like dress wise, but it was like $20 and I just thought it was cute. I was thinking, with booties when I got it, but now it's like already springtime, so maybe sandals? I don't know. It's flattering, it's kind of like a t-shirt dress if you see in the try-on, just like, looks good. Oh my God, we're on the last dress. Okay, I'm looking at the time, because I'm freaking out. And I probably didn't have to show you this dress, but I just wanted to because it's so beautiful. Look at this, oh my God, how cute is it? I definitely have to have it altered. I'll show you in the try on like how it fits. It's so flattering. It is by this brand called SHO Show. I don't know how to pronounce it. I got it at Neiman Marcus. Neiman Marcus was having like a ginormous clearance, um, like winter clearance, I guess. And this is actually could be like a Vegas dress. So that's why I bought it. My husband and I were planning on going to Vegas. Um, actually, we first were planning on going to Vegas 
in LA for this like our anniversary trip this trip that we're going on it's for our anniversary if I didn't mention it um, we'll be married four years but <coughs> um, then we just decided to go back to Europe so this dress isn't gonna get worn yet but I actually bought it for the Vegas trip which I'll probably go to Vegas so I will wear it and the quality of it is so good oh my god this hat just keep hitting it but tell me what you guys think All right. that is everything that I have bought so far I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you in the next one.